So this is the interruption of warming therapy. And let us talk about the possibility of the impact in those babies very low overweight infants. So um, many times we have been talking about that those babies had to be in a very well controlled uh, thermic uh, ambient. And the transition between uh, when you open and close uh, this, uh, those babies on the incubator or the warming therapy can be produce cold stress. And this cold stress has to be controlled and predicted. Do we know which kind of consequences that this uh, therapy or this interruption of the therapy can produce? Is there any um, uh, cold stress uh, measurement in this kind of babies? We know for many years that the delivery room um, stress prevention by, by, by hypothermia can reduce the morbidity and mortality of those very low weight infants. And we know that this uh, cold stress can produce an increase in hypoglycemia risk, hypoxemia, acidosis, and many other metabolic problems. But also, we know that, that for every one uh, degree below 36 Celsius, there is an increase in the mortality risk in those babies. But what about those babies after delivery? Now recommendations are to prevent this kind of cold stress by wrapping the babies with the plastic and putting the baby in an ambient controlled, like an incubator or, or open warm therapy. And recently we know that even doing this kind of uh, tools we can also have mild or severe hypothermia that can increase the risk of mortality and respiratory stress syndrome. So what can we do in our units? So the first thing is to prevent this cold stress from the very beginning and after. Um, there are many possibilities. One of the first things is to keep those babies in a very controlled, uh, warm therapy ambient, like incubators, and try to do not modify this temperature as far as you have to open it to do some techniques or to do some kind of skin to skin uh, care or whatever therapy you have to do. So typical stressful situation in our units are, for example, to put lines, peaks, or do some kind of surgical procedures, or even to go to the cardiac lab. So the thing is try to do not interrupt this thermal therapy. There are many situations, standard situations, that do we think that they're not going to produce any kind of cold stress, like, for example, the transition of the baby from the incubator to the skin-to-skin -skin care. But many times, this situation is going to produce an extremely cold stress to the babies. So the protocol should be to be keep in mind that any stop in this warming uh, control is going to produce such a kind of cold stress to the preemie baby. So we try to also transform and produce this uh, transition from the closed therapy to an open therapy very smoothly. But the problem is we don't know exactly when should be the best moment to transmit this baby, to transport the baby from the closed uh, incubator therapy to an open warming. Today we are using this kind of warming matrices to prevent this hypothermia and this cold stress. And we know that this kind of heat matrices can prevent this situation of uh, distress when you get the baby outside from the incubator. So we would like to know exactly what should be the best moment to prevent this stress. And it's difficult to know because every baby is completely different. We don't know exactly which should be the time when the baby is ready to be out from the incubator. And probably we have any kind of uh, automatic weaning process, giving to us such an idea when the baby is going to be ready to be out of the incubator, this should be helped a lot. But while the baby is still in this warm control, we have to prevent this stressful situation. So we don't know exactly what should be the consequences of this stress in the cold uh, uh, situation of those babies. And we don't have any evidence that this is going to produce uh, consequences into the baby, but we think that this is not the best situation for any baby. So prevent and have protocols to maintain the control of the therapy or the thermoregulation is uh, a priority situation in any NICU.